Hey guys, Doug. Down by the river here. I'm gonna take my dog out to the my dog. Hey. Figured I'd let her jump in. Kind of a small little well it's usually a brook, but we got a lot of rain last night, so uh, a lot of overflow. Actually it's pretty pretty high than it usually is. It's usually just a little brook. But uh we're gonna jump in, bring my dog, kind of cool her off a little bit. She's sitting in the house panting and just all the fur she has on her. It's good to do that with your dog, just let them cool off like that. So I'm kind of just up the road from my house here and my ways up a little bit. But it's a nice little brook here, it's uh, nice out, it's, I don't know, it's probably high 90s. I think it hit 100 degrees in the sun here. But uh, I'm going to try not to drop this. <laughs> that would suck. But uh, I'm going to bring her in, going to cool the dog off. Come here buddy, come here. They're all tangled up already, come here. Come here. Hold on. It's going to be high here. I might have to cut it here, but I'll... Turn it back on in a minute, so stay with me. Ah, oh, back again. Got in. Oh, she loves it. Cooling down. That's the nice little. Uh, well, it was a brook, but it's now it looks like a river. But uh, hey, actually the current's pretty pretty strong right here. I almost dropped the camera coming over, and if I want to drop it, my wife would kill me, but... Hey, buddy. I'm trying to walk up here. Just came over here in this area, and there's a big, huge trout over here. Hey, you got a rock in your mouth? I gotta have the rope hooked to her because there's a there's a road over there. I don't want to run around, so I gotta have her. I gotta have her hooked. Come on, get out of here. Come in the water, buddy. Come on, come on. Don't do it. <laughs> I don't know why, but she grabs these rocks out of the uh, she grabs these rocks out of the river and she brings them home for some reason. I don't know if it's like a souvenir type thing or whatever, but she, she always grabs rocks under the water and brings them home. I'll give you guys a little look down here. <clears throat> Car right here is. There's like a concrete slab that goes all the way across. I don't know if you guys can see it, but it's kind of really slippery and it's got the currents really, really strong right there. I almost went on my ass. Now she dropped the rock again. It's cooling off, huh, bub? I wish I didn't have to have this leash on. I'd like to let it go, but I can't. Me. Looking for a rock. I should dunk her head underwater. Me. Where are you going, Bobby? Huh? Come on, let's go up here. Go up to the rapids a little bit. I hope I don't fall on my ass. Come on, buddy. Nice little pool right here. Yeah. Go in, buddy. Get in here. Beautiful area in here, though. It's, if I can zoom in here, it goes all the way up. It goes all the way up quite a ways, and it goes up to a 
It's like a swampy area and there's a lot of moose up in there. I usually don't go up that far because up here the, mu the moose charge you, especially around like September when they're in rut season. So I usually don't go that far unless I got a gun in my hand or something. But uh, I figured I'd take my dog out today and cool her off. She's sitting in the house. But there used to be a bridge, I don't know if you guys can see it from that tree right here. It's kind of a concrete slab right in there. But there used to be a nice little bridge that went all the way across to there. You can actually walk across. And then up in here there's a little picnic table. But we had Hurricane Irene. Irene. Uh, it just all flooded it out. Just destroyed everything. It was too bad, but it's a nice little bridge they built. And the people that built it to live, I don't know if you can see it from here, but they live way up, way up in the mountain there, it's all clear, it's a beautiful place, it's all fields and they got a house up there and that's the road that goes up, just, just a beautiful place up there and they had a barn down in here and it burnt down, all on fire so they moved up on top over here, um, but it's too bad, the, too bad the bridge went because it was really nice. Oh, maybe someday they'll uh, restore it. <clears throat> okay, come on, one. Well, I'm gonna put this camera down because I don't want to drop it. So uh, just figured I'd do a little clip today and uh, run some more footage. And uh... wait, wait, come on. I gotta go back and grab my other dog. Back at the house, barking. She wanted to go, but I can't bring two of them. So yeah, man. I'm out. Help. Back with my other dog here. This is Dago dog. Come on, buddy. I tell you, man, that sun is relentless. Oh, shit. This guy here, he ain't afraid of nothing. My other dog, she's afraid of everything. I'm He's the bigger dog, but I'm gonna let him jump in, cool off. There you go, there you go. So I'm gonna pause it for a minute because I don't want to drop this camera. Here, yeah, buddy. Hey, <laughs> there he goes. I'm gonna get this camera soaked. He is going nuts. There you go, there you go. What are you doing, buddy? Huh, you having fun? Hey, buddy. <laughs> hey, buddy. There you go, over here. I'm gonna take me down with you. Loved it. There you go, over here, buddy. Now it pisses me off of these guys that, or well, people leave their dogs in the car and, you know, they end up dying. Or, you know, they leave their kids in the, the car. I heard a couple days ago, some guy left four kids in the car and the guy got arrested. He's on the news, got arrested for leaving four kids in the car ages of like five and six and I just how could you be so stupid I mean it's, I just hate sh I hate hearing that stuff and I'll uh, take your dogs out or leave them home if you're going shopping or just get them out of the house and take them down by the river you know I mean it just kind of sickens me they leave a any kind of animal or, or kids in a car like that and especially on a day like this come here Diggle Well, I just figured I'd bring the dogs down here, let them cool off. Good for them anyways, but... Like I said, man, we got a lot of rain last night. Had a storm come in. It's pretty bad. I guess we got a really bad storm tomorrow. It's it's Friday. And it's, I guess tomorrow's supposed to be really bad. So I figured I'd get them 
bring them down here and cool them off a little bit. But uh, wind's starting to pick up, so just a beautiful day out here, man. I just, you know, minus the humidity here. So I'm probably going to shut this off because I just I just don't want to drop it. But figured I'd do some uh, video clips here and kind of share with some friends here. This video pretty much goes out to I got some friends that are on the other side of the country and the other side of the United States. They don't get to see much of what's happening up here in the North Country. So I figured I'd make a little video. So it's pretty much for them really good friends all over the world here and not only that but just some fans fans all over the place friends family oh come here buddy this guy's ready to dive in so uh figured I'd make a little video it's such a beautiful day out here Love getting out. Supposed to bring the dogs out with it, you know. Especially the animals, man. They don't talk behind your back. They always got your back. But I'm gonna, I'm gonna pause it here. Enjoy the rest of the day. Keep cool, guys. Peace out.